Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn how to sign documentation via um, equal sign. So when you receive an email like this from us where it says to sign and here going to come your name and the document name. Open the email. You're going to see on the right side in blue here. Click here to review any sign and triple A test is our test user so it should have your name here right before the document. So we're gonna click here the um, ecosign's gonna website's gonna come up that's your document and shows you on the left start right click on that it's gonna say exactly where you have to put your initials click in there type your initial so a test in your case you put your first name letter and your last name first letter let's say so AT and then you're gonna just sign here if you have an iPad or an iPhone it's way easier because you have the touch screen in this case I'm using a um, computer mouse so it's a little bit harder but moving on apply then hit next again same again just to click and then the initials are there because we've um, signed previously and then next and then it says here click here to sign we click there it's gonna ask for your name and then you're gonna put your name in this case triple A test and we're gonna sign a a a tests for example let's say that this is my signature in your case you're gonna sign the way that you normally would sign on a paper um, again if it's in a phone or an iPad or any sort of tablet um, it's way easier because you have the touch screen unless your computer is a touch screen um, which makes your life easier hit button apply and you're done so shows the big sign over here where you have to click to e-sign so even if you scroll down or scroll up that won't change alright so you have to click on e-sign it's gonna finish doing what it has to do and that's it you have successfully e-signed the agreement and it comes your name over here and documents you can download a copy if you want to it's not necessary um, and you don't have to take any further action as this document now will be sent to your migration agent and he will take further actions and get in touch with you if there is any questions um, hope you guys enjoyed the video um, hope it was helpful and keep in touch